A facility that has provided jobs to disabled people in Louisiana, but a recent policy change in Washington, D.C. has cut the number of jobs this facility can provide. And as WDSU reporter Kelsey Davis tells us, it could cut that number even more in the future. Independence. Uh, when I'm just, when I'm working here, just, it just gives you so much of a great attitude and you just feel so independent. But for nearly three years, Norman Zamal Jr. has not had that feeling of being on his own. That's after a 2012 decision by the Obama administration to enact the Afghan First Central Asian Procurement Initiative. We saw uh, jobs that were being done by people with disabilities being shipped overseas. And we called on the administration to reverse that policy and asked them some specific questions about why they made this change. And, and we still haven't gotten any answers. Since 1938, Lighthouse Louisiana, whose employees have vision and or other disabilities, have packaged and distributed products like sponges and paper towels to federal clients. But the organization has recently lost nearly $19 million in revenue and had to lay off 43 people because of that outsourcing. And all we're asking them to do is look and see what this change in policy has done. I mean, last year they made a decision uh, and it's resulted in the, law, the loss of jobs for people all across this country with disabilities. While some might argue this program is saving the U.S. money, people like DeMaul who are out of work and whose lives have changed dramatically hope someone in Washington hears the concerns of the people and brings these jobs back to America. I have a disability and, and I want to work, but I feel that, you know, until y'all change this, that's taking that opportunity away from me and it's frustrating. Reporting on your side from Lighthouse, Louisiana, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.